Not gonna lie, I was also excited to pull for Xylanin, but looking at her banner, I think I'll pass. Now first I will let you know in what situation is my account standing right now. And if you are also hesitating to pull for her because of the 4 stars, or if you think not pulling for her will really affect your account drastically, I am here to clear your worries. Because contrary to popular belief, Xylanin is not a very important pull in my opinion, and not a very big upgrade for a lot of players, and she is probably very overhyped in the community. And although we are all praising her for how overpowered she is, we are also neglecting to admit that although she might be a character everyone would love to have in their account, she is also the type of character no one really necessarily need to make their account function. And we will be talking about the 4 stars too. So subscribe to my Discord and join my channel. And let's get started. Alright everyone, Maharb is here. And if I let you know about my scenario, I have C1 Shiori with her signature weapon. I won my 50-50 on Shiori, and then got her constellation fairly early. And even acquiring her weapon only cost me like 20 to 30 wishes, if I remember correctly. So it's not like I overinvested in my Chiori. That might not be the case for everyone else, but we will get to that later in the video. I use my C1 Chiori with Navia, which is a perfect duo. Xylanin is not needed here for me, because as a Geo buffer, she is not beating my C1 Chiori who hits like a truck to an Esekai protagonist. And I can make use of her in a couple of my teams, but it's not like any of my team is borderline unplayable without her in my account. And I'm certain most of the player base is like that and some might end up being a victim of the online hype. As for the 4 stars, I already have C6 Candace and C6 Dory. So getting them from these banners is a complete waste. As for Kale, I already have Nahida, Emily, and a C6 Karara. I don't need Kali for like literally anything. So I am cooked with this banner. Don't expect me to gamble on something where there is no winning. Now you can see that if I talk about myself and the situation of my account, Pulling for Xylanin in this scenario will be just a brain-dead move. But what about you? Is Xylanin really worth the expense of all these horrible 4 stars? Are these 4 star constellations have any value in them? Short answer is no. But I know community always wants explanations. And I'm gonna give them one by one. Starting with Xylanin. First of all, what she does is provide resistance shred and healing. If you have a couple of reliable healers already, you don't need Xylanin. Kazaha is already better in this scenario. And Resistance Shred from Xylanin is nice, but other Natlong characters can counter it by providing extra damage or other utilities. As for the damage buffing that comes from Artifacts set, so any other future Natlon support character will be able to take advantage of it. Xylanin is not the only one who can equip this artifact set. Now, I've heard from most of my community that they'll be pulling for her to use her in Nivellet team. Specifically, Novi, Furina, Kazaha, and Xylanin. When I saw that, I was like, why would anyone do that? You see, Nivellet can max Furina's fanfare stacks all by himself. You don't need a healer for that. So Xylanin's healing is kind of wasted in this team. Resistance Shred cannot go lower than 0%. And there are hardly any enemies who have like 80% Hydro Resistance. And damage bonus after reaching to a certain point tend to belittle their effects. So you are basically using less than half of Xylanin in this team. She has no off-field Geo application for Crystallize, so if an enemy can hit you, Nuvi can easily get interrupted. Nuvalet's personal damage ceiling is already high enough that you don't need any more damage bonuses. What's better is that if you don't have a C1, then use a shielder like Zhongli or Layla so he can easily and consistently do damage. I don't know man, I think a working Toyota is better than a broken Ferrari. That applies to another of her most talked about team as well. Mainly, Arlecchino, Bennett, Kazaha, and Xylanin. Resistance Shred and damage bonuses can overcap, and Xylanin's healing is wasted. Better use a Shielder instead. And she cannot shred resistance and buff damage of your Kinnich or Al Haytham because of being Geo character. Mulani, if you are using with Kazaha and Deya, might use a healer with buffing utility. Otherwise, she can make use of Bennett and Xiangli. So in an ideal scenario, Xylanin is only a must-pull if you don't have Chiori and you want a good damage buffing support for Navia. Otherwise, she is not the most important character you must have in your account. So I can safely say that even if you decide to skip her because of these terrible four stars, there is no harm in doing 
So if you are not a Chiori, less Navia main. And if you have Chiori at C1 paired with Navia like me, don't even bother touching this banner. Now let's talk about these three four-star characters. Look, they're from Sumeru. Sumeru is a region of the worst characters in the game. Even their five stars are more or less trash compared to even some of the four stars of other regions. So you can expect that this region's four stars can be borderline must-skip characters. I will create a detailed video on Samara's underpowered reverse power corrupt characters. It will help me trigger some snowflakes, but let's come back to the topic at hand. I've seen people hyping up their constellations. But just a reality check, if you think Kali's constellations will ever help you so much, or that Candace or Dory C6 can make them any good, please don't waste your primo gems. Save them for literally anything good, starting with Kali. She is the worst Dendro 4-star in the game if you don't count Kabe, because he is a DPS. You get a copy of Kali for free. That's more than enough. Otherwise, her C2 increases the duration of her burst. The thing is, the moment you get Karara or Yao Yao, you don't need Kali anymore. And rest in peace to Kali if you happen to have Naid on your account. Otherwise, Dendro MC is a better Kali. So ideally, you will only want to play her if you don't have literally any other Dendro character in the entire game. Next up, Candace. So, Xingqiu exists. Thank you so much for existing, Candace. You may leave now. No, like seriously. Candace C6 deals a splash of hydro damage every 2.3 seconds. This triggers six times in total. The most common use case I've seen of C6 Candace was an Arlequino team, where Xingqiu still gets the job done as efficiently, if not better. But if you ask me, he is straight up better with his defensive utility and a lot of hydro for vape compared to a C6 Candace. Or I've seen her teams with Yao Yao in a Nilo Bloom team, where Barbara is still better in multiple different compositions. Or even here, if you have Xingqiu, he performs way better with the sheer amount of hydro application to produce as many Bloom cores as possible. So just like Kali, you will use C6 Candace, only if you don't have literally any other Hydro character in the entire game. And then we get to Dory. Oh boy, oh boy. Do I even need to start talking? So apparently, her C6 gives her team-wide healing through normal attacks, something a certain 1.0 character already have, and gives her a whopping 3 seconds of Electro Infusion on her normal attacks after using her skill. Yes, you heard that right. 3 seconds of Electro Infusion. Such generosity. I mean, why Hoyovers? Why did you take pity on her? Like, seriously? What am I supposed to do with this three seconds of Electro Infusion? Conquer Celestia? Trust me on this. Whoever is thinking he is able to unfield this pink twig after getting her at C6, you have my condolences in advance. Her best team, which I consider to be a cope, is her on field as a Hyper Bloom driver with Furina. So the idea is that Thundering Fury will keep decreasing her skill duration, so she can consistently infuse with Electro. And she will keep healing for Furina's fanfare and trigger Hyper Bloom. Well, this works if your enemy just stands and don't do anything. But if your enemy can like, move or attack, good luck chasing them with these small feet. Your Electro infusion consistency is then out of the question. No triggering Hyper Bloom consistently and no fanfare generation. And all that aside, you just cannot imagine how mentally challenging playing a kid Claymore character with three seconds of infusion can be. I did that mistake, I don't want anyone else to do that. So be very careful before pulling for any of these banners. No four star is good, no constellation is important, and Xylan and herself is also not that important of a unit that you must have her in your account. Make sure to subscribe because I will keep informing you about upcoming characters. We might get characters who are even better than Xylanin in the future. So stay tuned. Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server and he will see you in the comments section. Peace!